Hi everyone and welcome to Tutorial. I'm Lorena Pobosena. Sending HTML newsletters is one of the tried and true methods of internet marketing. If you have a good list of people who are interested in your news or products, sending them information via email can be very effective. Now, while you can certainly send out information in text only, something I recommend doing anyway, HTML emails can include things like important photos, and maybe more importantly, reflect the same design as your website for optimum branding. Before we begin, here are some things to keep in mind. Because different email clients display HTML emails in different ways, keep your code as simple as possible. Always create a text-only version of your email. Publish a web version of the email that people can view in their browser instead. Always use full or absolute URLs when referencing images in your email. Don't ever, ever send spam. So let's get started creating a basic HTML newsletter. I always start with a mock-up of how I want the newsletter to look. Here is mine. As you can see, it's very simple. I have a header with my logo and a few sections beneath that, where my announcements and features will go. The first thing to do, if you have any graphical elements in your design, is to cut it up and export those. In this case, my graphics are the logo and header, the photo of cupcakes, and this thank you text. I also want to take note of all the colors I've used here, so I can easily add it to the code later on. Now I'll fire up the application I use to write HTML. I use Coda, but you can use any text editor, even Notepad will do. Coding this is not unlike coding a basic HTML page. Here is a basic layout in HTML. I'll make this template available for download as well, so you can play around with it yourself. Remember the tips I gave you earlier? You want to keep your code as simple as possible. And remember that you cannot reference external style sheets. So you want the styles on the page. And you want to use tables for layout. That's right. Forget using CSS layouts in your HTML newsletters. You want to go old school and use tables here. Make sure you include full or absolute URLs to your images and links. It's also a good idea to include things like how to unsubscribe, and it's very important to publish a web version that people who can't see the mailer properly in their email reader can click through to. Now that the newsletter looks good, I'll upload it to a directory on my web host server, making sure all the images are online as well. And finally, we're ready to send. If you're using a sending service like MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, or Mad Mini, you would simply import this code at this time. You can also use Outlook or Thunderbird. I've sent it to myself, and now to check it in my email. And there it is. As you can see, because I'm checking it in Gmail, the background colors don't show up. This is why it's very important to stick to the most basic coding, because it will never render exactly as you like in all email readers. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tutorial. For more video tutorials, please visit us at tutorial.com.